Hello, this is Martin Patella for uh, Life Enthusiast Podcast. And today I have with me Dan Boatman, the Chief Marketing Officer at Sadio. And we at Life Enthusiast are really excited to be introducing to you a solution that really falls right into the fold of what we have been trying to solve for the last 20 years. I will try and get Dan's help in, in landing it correctly. All right. Welcome, Dan. Thanks. I'm nice to be here, Martin. So as much as I understand it, Sadio is created to help people who have chronic conditions, primarily with pain and hormonal involvement. Did I get it right? Uh, yes, I'll just put a finer point on it. So um, a lot of us in our environments today suffer from damage to our hormonal system. It can be prolonged stress uh, of any kind. You know, a lot of us have, have lived through issues of, of stress that have affected our hormonal systems, or it can be environmental toxins. There's so many things in what we eat and drink that, that can cause stress on our bodies and that damages the hormonal system. And so when the hormonal system doesn't work right, we have all kinds of just a cascade of problems that, that occur. And so Zadiol is designed not to directly impact any particular problem, but it's to help your body get your hormonal system so it works efficiently and effectively. And so because of that, it's, it's, it has proven to be very effective uh, for people with conditions like fibromyalgia or rheumatoid arthritis where inflammation is being triggered by hormonal issues. Uh, the flip side of the coin, s stress and things are, are caused by that the fight or flight uh, reaction is just out of control. Your adrenals, you just, you, your adrenals fire off and then there's nothing to, to calm them down again. And so there's high stress. Well, if you get your hormonal system in balance, it helps that. It's gonna be very helpful for people with stress issues like PTSD. My, so this really actually sounds like about 97.44% in America, right? Uh, yes, it, 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 it's been amazing. We had a, a pilot study done by two doctors, very famous US doctors. One of them is on the National Institute of Health Board um, at Cedar sinai Hospital who studied Zadiol as a preliminary trial and they were testing it against fi with fibromyalgia and with uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And they had such dramatic results. They, the, the paper was published in the Journal of Endocrinology. And they had such dramatic results that uh, normally you have to pay people to do research, but uh, they have been taking Zadiol and testing it against a, a bunch of other conditions that are also hormonally, hormonally related. So it's, uh, uh, it, it's been exciting. So they actually put these actual words into the paper. Act, yes, yeah, and, and we can certainly provide you with a link to the, uh, the paper just so people could see it and read it for themselves because uh, we, that, everybody should always check things out thoroughly, obviously, before they start taking a new right. system. So. Well, I, I just want to be clear that here mm -hmm. we are not really uh, providing medical advice, nor are we diagnosing, nor are we treating any of these conditions. In mm -hmm. fact, we are clearly saying we are not selling a medication, we're selling something that helps people deal with the terrain that may result in symptoms associated with these particular conditions. Absolutely, and, and I we would also say that because this is helping your hormonal system become more efficient, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor and just make sure there isn't anything you, want, you are on that is uh, also affecting your hormonal system so that we don't have the, the the uh, improvement of your hormonal system suddenly making your medication too effective. You've got too much. So it's, yeah, it's always a, a very important to check with your doctor. So. Yeah. I, I was looking at the ingredients in it and it looks deceptively simple. <laughs> I mean, there are really three main ingredients only. I, I, exactly. Uh, the, the primary ingredient is uh, isoflavins that come from uh, a red clover extract. So isoflavins have been tested for years uh, in terms of their impact on the body and the hormonal system. A lot of times they come from soy. Um, in this case, people have issues with soy. And so we found a source out of Switzerland, uh, probably the best lab in the world for these kinds of things. And uh, they take organic uh, red clover and they make an extract out of it with the isoflavins. And so that's the primary component. And then there's a minute amount of macunaparins in there just to awaken the dopamine receptors. Uh, typically, if you take macunaparins, it's two, 3,000 milligrams or you know, sometimes more. I mean, we're talking about 
two or three milligrams. I mean, it's just minute, but it's just enough to, to wake up the receptors so that it helps the isoflavins be more effective. And then the third element is alpha-lipoic acid. Again, these are all three ingredients. They've been around forever on the uh, old dietary ingredients list. Uh, but what's unique about this is how they're combined and the proportions that they're in and then the quality and purity of the ingredients as well. Yeah. When I was uh, thinking about the product, it, it strikes me as uh, when we talk about the uh, hypothalamus pituitary and adrenal or and thyroid axes, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. always talk about the dysregulation and most of the medical products focus on trying to deal with the adrenals direct or the thyroid direct or the testosterone direct or the estrogen direct. Mm -hmm. The way this works, it reminds me of uh, discussing things not with the musician, but with the conductor, the, the organ that actually organizes and directs the actual doers. It, 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 you're absolutely right. It's very interesting. Uh, and we encourage people to read the patent. It's, it's pretty complicated, but it, it, it is very thorough. And uh, that really explains how this works at the very top of the hormonal system, the hormonal cascade, to, to then improve every step all the way along. And uh, uh, we can also provide you with a link to the patent because that's well worth reading. And it's one of the very few uh, supplements or anything made of natural products that's ever gotten a patent. But it's largely due to the results of that study by Cedar sinai Hospital and just the proven efficacy of there's something remarkable going on here. Which is fantastic. I, I mean, I have been working with people who are dealing with the what's now become broadly called fibromyalgia, which is usually flares of chronic pain and fatigue and, uh, and irritability and stressiness and who knows what. And uh, people who take this seem to get a relief pretty quickly, right? Uh, usually, usually within a week to 20 days and certainly within a month, there's There'll, there'll be a clear indication if this is the right. this is the right thing for you. Right. So by the end of the second bottle, we should either have a go or no go decision for a long term commitment. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's not it's not something. I mean, there's a lot of supplements. They say, well, take this for three four months, and then maybe you'll start seeing something. Uh, you will know something promptly if this is something that's going to help you. You will know it. You will know it relatively soon. Which is fantastic. All right. So so you're talking about this unique Swiss extract of clover. Mm -hmm. Are you the only outfit that we know of that's uh, selling it in America? Uh, to, to our knowledge, obviously there may be something else, but to our knowledge, we are the only people that, that are buying from that lab in Switzerland. Right on. And the unique combination, so and patented combination. So I guess people will be hard pressed to find something that's similar to this. Yes, um, you know, like as I mentioned, we started down the path originally of, of looking at soy and the isoflavins from soy, uh, but then really the red clover became the way to go. And then once it was the red clover, the decision was, where are you going to get it to make sure it, 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 it is the highest quality possible because this is something you're ingesting, right? So it has to have a very high level of purity and also consistency of the product. You know, we, 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 we're trying to make sure that every ingredient is just extremely high quality and the amount of rigorous testing you know that, that we do normally you're required to test your product a couple times a year you know we do five assay tests on every single batch so the so you know just to again we want to feel confident that what we're providing is all right is something that, that we will always we'd give to our our mothers and our grandmothers and wives so, so is the whole thing made in switzerland or do you make it in usa so it's made by a lab in the U.S. Again, it's been very important to us to be able to have that level of control. So there's a, a lab that makes a lot of pharmaceuticals, a very high-end lab that makes it for us uh, here on uh, this side of the Rockies. All right. Do you have a complete list of ingredients? I see the three main ones, but I have some clients that are super sensitive to things like gluten. Mm -hmm. So it is gluten free, it's soy free, uh, all of those elements. Uh, the only thing besides the red clover, the macuna parins, the tiny bit of macuna parins, and the alpha lipoic acid is in there are excipients. What's, what's the excipient on the product? The red clover is so fine that we have to have some 
additives with it just to hold it all together in tablet form. But I've got a bottle here. I'll just read to you right off the panel what is here. So it's got microcrystalline cellulose, hypomellose, crocomellose, sodium mal maltodextrin, silica, and magnesium stearate, stearate, and then polydextrose. So they're all inactive ingredients, just a small amount, just again to, to bind right. the, the primary. And so this, this maltodextrin, would that be derived from wheat, corn, what? Um, it's it, it's it, the it's corn, uh, but of course part part of the question behind that is is there any gluten in the product? No, it's it's gluten free and uh, it's soy free. So yep. you know the common allergens that we all need to be concerned about, um, we very intentionally avoid yeah. those. Promise you, I've run into people who react to anything corn. Like, mm -hmm. for example, uh, vitamin E, you would say, oh, that's in innocent. Well, vitamin E derived from corn triggers mm -hmm. this particular client that we have. Yeah. Well, then it's, it's important to look on uh, and always before you buy something, you should check it out. But it's important to read the panel and we'll make sure that that you've got the panel, the back panel to go on your website, too. So right on. OK, let's let's just talk about the creden credentials of the people involved. So the background on Zadiol is that the researcher and founder of the company had a friend that was dying of cancer and this friend commissioned the the founder try to find something somewhere in the world that will take care of me and this the the founder is is a uh, research just has a fantastic analytical mind and so he literally traveled around the world looking for different ingredients ended up with looking at the isoflavins with soy uh, and started down the track of developing that as a product. Uh, he engaged a number of research scientists in Europe primarily uh, who, who specialize in hormones and hormonal therapy. And they tested a number of different formulations of things before they finally settled on the red clover as the, the best solution for the isoflavins. And then the other elements that were needed to make that those isoflavins really effective and active. And uh, after 10 years of working and testing and trying and putting things together, then that's when the uh, Cedar sinai folks did the, the pilot study and then the patent followed shortly thereafter. And then they went into full manufacture about six months ago in terms of what's going on. Um, obviously, there's not a, a lot of money behind it in terms of doing a lot of advertising. So it's really grown by word of mouth and sales have literally doubled every month since it started simply because of word of mouth. Yeah. Uh, and just people trying it and telling other folks about it and, and, and just how it's worked. And I think that's a that's the best marketing of all, right? I mean, you can always spend money to get attention, but best of all is to have people try something. It works for them. Uh, we even had somebody that's a, a television person that, well, Otz is his name, Otz Kilcher. He's on this TV show uh, called Alaska, The Last Frontier. He spent some time in Vietnam had terrible PTSD problems from that and also a very traumatic childhood. And, uh, you know, he will, he will self-confess. It was, it, was, it was a rough life and he was a, a rough person. And a, a friend of his introduced him to Zadiol and he says it's changed his life entirely. And uh, uh, his daughter is Jewel, the musician. And so, you know, there's some things there and, and uh, they didn't even have a relationship. And then over the last year and a half since he started taking it, she says he's changed so much that they have this very close relationship. They actually go on tour together, doing music now and all kinds of things. So there's just, I mean, it's stories like that that just make you say, well, that's, what, that's what's worthwhile. That's why you do this, right? I have lots of friends that have fibromyalgia and lupus and some of these, these different conditions that it just, they steal your life away from you. And if you can find something that gives, you, gives, gives some of that back to you, uh, it's just priceless in terms of what it does for you and your family and your relationships. And so that's really our motivation. The, the philosophy of the company is we're going to help a billion people and, and whatever it takes to help a billion people, whether, um, you know, some of that, some of that's going to have to be given away in, in third world countries and things to get those people. So anyway, it's, 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 it's exciting for us and it's, it's a mission for us in terms of what we're doing and, and, uh, hopefully it can be helpful to your folks. Right. In fact, I'm just so impressed with uh, what you're saying. Like the, the, the stories, well, we didn't even highlight the PTSD, but perhaps we should. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, you know, P PTSD is a condition that, that 
it comes from trauma, right? I just have excessive extended trauma and what and it can be wartime that's what we always think about but it can also be a home life it can be a, a stressful job situation there's any number of things that that have triggered your your adrenal glands too many times and now they're out of control now they can't shut off so you have this fight or flight instead of for a normal person they hear a noise or something startles them and and then they realize oh that's not a threat and you calm down but if you've got PTSD or if you've been damaged because you've lived on edge, you've had too much adrenaline, you haven't had it in control, you can't, you literally can't help yourself. And you know, that's where anxiety and lack of sleep and just, I mean, there's a thousand things that happen that happen to folks like that. And you know, we think of extreme cases of PTSD, but there's also moderate ones where you just can't stop the little voice in your head that's spinning uh, just because something triggers you. And so uh, ZDL is, just amazing. I'll give you one very personal example. So when I first found out about Zadiol, um, somebody gave it to me and said, you should try this out. And I thought, well, I don't really need it. But I said, my wife does. <laughs> because um, my wife had a, had a pretty traumatic childhood. And then she had several relatives die in close succession that she was taking care of. And so for a couple of years, she slept maybe two, three hours a night. Um, we got Zadiol the second night after she took it, she slept all the way through the night for the first time in two years. And, and the change that, and that has stayed consistent since she's been taking Zadiol. And the change that that has made in her life, just getting a good night's sleep finally, and not being anxious all the time, and, and just having that opportunity that when you have a normal hormonal system, you get some kind of response, and, and you, you have this moment, you have this, this you know, second or two to decide, should I react or should I not react? If you've got PTSD or trauma, you, you never have that little gap to react. Right? It's just something happens and I take off and then I can't shut it off. And yeah. that's what it was like for her. She would just, any little thing, she would hear a helicopter because she'd spent a bunch of time in the, in the hospital with one of her uh, brother who had died after a traumatic accident. I mean, just any of these little triggers would set her off and you know she'd stay awake all night long and couldn't, couldn't go back to sleep. And Zadie all really gave her that back. So you know, for me, it's a very personal thing too. Going off on the PTSD, I certainly know uh, how hypervigilance works. Like mm -hmm. we are short tempered and I can't imagine just how the millions of people who are now in the 2020, 2021, the mm -hmm. year of uh, overstimulating news, telling everybody that everybody's dangerous, that you have to watch for everybody being infectious. Mm -hmm. This this just triggers people like nothing else that I have experienced in my entire life. Mm -hmm. It's, well, it I mean, is there, there is war, but then there's this, right? I mean, it's, it's as if we were in a war. Absolutely. Well, your body just knows stress is stress, right? You know, the yeah. stress could be because you're hearing bombs dropping nearby, or the stress can be because you walk outside and there's somebody that doesn't have a mask on and they're coughing in your face or coughing on your child. And you, you know, you don't want to personally confront them, but you know, you just have that stress that builds up. Yeah. Stress is stress, you know, yeah. wherever, wherever it comes from. So yeah. extended vigilance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so does ADL, as we understand it is actually helping the body to uh, numb the edge or take the edge off of the hypervigilance reaction. Yeah. Yeah. What we I, and again, I'll just speak for my wife's, my wife's own experience. Although we hear this over and over again from people, it's just that, that element that number one, all these triggers would just set me off right away. And now I have this gap between the, the, the stimulus, whatever it was that would normally set me off. I have a gap to stop and think, Hmm, do I want to react to that or not? Second of all, that when we they do get spun up in the in the past like my wife would would tell you at night when her brain would start spinning she couldn't shut it off the only thing she could do is put on headphones and try to put on somebody talking or do something that would just distract her so much that it would drown out her own thoughts going but now she would tell you you know when my brain starts spinning up i can stop and say no i just that's that's not an issue i'm just going to go back to sleep and and she can go to sleep and like I say, it was, it was two years of, of not being able to do that and, and literally two days into his ADL. And I don't want to say that it's going to work in two days for everybody. That's not my point. My point is just for her, that was her experience, two days in and, and she slept through the night and uh, it was just remarkable. And then you couldn't help yourself and join the company, right? <laughs> I, yes, I was not part of the company when we started trying it. And uh, yes, that was, that, that was a big convincer for me. That, that this was something okay. worth getting behind. So, so let's ask Paul uh, 
I had a question about isoflavones, where uh, I understand them to be used in the DAO inhibitors, the the aminine oxidase, like fava bean extract and stuff like that. Is that related? Yes, but you you you've asked. Uh, actually, you've asked a very so, complex question. The alpha lipoic acid is also an integral part of this uh, composition that also reduces oxidative stress. And by reducing the oxidative stress on the cellular level, uh, you're able to get better cytokine signaling in the body. So the overproduction of the cytokine overreactivity is moderated to a reasonable level, yeah? Well, it's not, it's not just that cytokines are broken into two, two camps. One camp we'll call inflammatory, and it's part of an immune response, but the other side of the immune response of cytokines is for healthy uh, signaling to bring in other hormones that are crucial for cell repair. And the problem with acute inflammatory cytokines, if you get elevated levels of those, they interrupt signaling between the cells. Yes. Well, that, that's the classic for the uh, people with uh, mast cell activation syndrome or the fibromyalgia or uh, those type of uh, situations. Fibr right? Fibromyalgia is, was originally called, uh, it's still classified as a somatic uh, uh, disease or, or uh, yeah. uh, affliction. And uh, fibromyalgia is actually a central nervous system disorder and a misfiring or misdirection of, of signaling. Uh, it's brought on by stress and it's, it's really a cascade that comes off the upper part of the hormonal cascade, which are the stress hormones. And uh, it's really a cascade. What we found, there's a, a theory that is quite prominent now is that fibromyalgia is actually a comorbid sit, uh, indication coming off PTSD. Uh, fibromyalgia does not cause PTSD, but PTSD can certainly cause fibromyalgia. Yeah. In our trial, everybody that had fibromyalgia also had PTSD. It, it's really a hormonal uh, imbalance. Uh, fibromyalgia is really part, falls under the rubric or the title of uh, uh, the uh, rheumatoid uh, disorders. Okay. Uh, and typically the people that treat fibromyalgia are endocrinologists. The, the list of physicians that have been involved in this and the doctors of, are of the highest order. These are people with uh, incredible credentials. They're, they're really marvelous people that are really centered on helping people and we're trying to change how these, these diseases are treated using botanicals, moving away from small molecules and going to natural substances. You see, zadiol is actually an evolutionary treatment. That is, it comes out of the evolution of nature, not a laboratory. What I told the physicians at Cedar sinai as they were coming up with the, the protocol and what we were gonna test for I had some hormones I wanted to test for, and I, I, I wanted to test for uh, cytokine movements as well, but it became so expensive that we decided not to do that. But what, to summarize what I told them, I said, don't listen to me, do the trial, here are the measurements we're, gonna, we're going to uh, quantify and gather this data. And then once the trial's done, then you tell me what you think. And I gave them the hypothesis, and the hypothesis was the following. Patients with treatment-resistant PTSD and fibromyalgia will have significant improvements, period. They ran the trial, and I got an email from Frank Greenway, and he said, your hypothesis proved to be correct. Congratulations. As the doctors were going through the test results and going through the data, the data was somewhat confusing and mixed. And I told them in a conference call that the test results are 
objective. They're not subjective, they're objective, the blood results. We're not talking about how people scored on the uh, fibromyalgia test, we're talking about blood markers. And if they're confused, it's because they are not asking the right questions. They don't understand the answers. How? If you don't understand the question, you certainly can understand the answer. And so we broke for estradiol, for example. We discovered that if you had the men and women together, the results, there was no uh, statistically significant improvements. It was mixed. But if you broke them out by gender, suddenly you had statistically significant shifts, and which actually supports my original hypothesis that, uh, or the, the foundation of the hypothesis, is that what we're doing is we are restoring the hormonal cascade. And men's hormonal cascade is different than a woman's hormonal cascade. That's why you'd have two different directions with estradiol between men and women. And we didn't test for prolactin, we should have, because we would have found shifts there that are also gender specific. So to ask it this way, does this product help both genders deal yeah. with the PTSD, just in yeah. different way how it expresses itself? Uh, some of them are simple. Some of the pathways are the same. And, and you can find that the effect on NFKB, the nuclear uh, factor kappa beta, that family, it's a, it's a super family, a large family. And you look at what's happening there, uh, there are a lot of similarities in, in those pathways. And so to answer your question, yes, it helps both genders. And, and dramatically, we, you know, we have probably an equal number of men and women who have responded about PTSD. Fibromyalgia tends to be more women um, than, than men in terms of response that we get, but with PTSD, it's definitely been pretty much 50-50 split. So, so Dan, um, should we be concerned when we're taking Zadio about the effects of other pharmaceutical drugs that we may be taking? Well, I think the thing that we have to be careful of is Zadiol makes your hormonal system work better and more efficiently. And also, if you have a drug resistance, you know, sometimes if you're taking a drug for a long period of time, you have to keep raising the dose because you develop a drug resistance. Zadiol can actually break down that drug resistance. So it's very important that if you are on anything that's any kind of hormone therapy or something like that, that you ask your doctor about that because it can actually make it more effective. For instance, um, if you're taking a sleeping, a sleeping, something like Ambien or something, and, and you normally need to take, uh, you know, two pills or one pill to get to sleep, try taking half a, <laughs> half a pill. All right, so uh, people, this is powerful, even though it's natural, it will potentiate whatever else you're taking. Watch out. <laughs> Don, Dan, yeah. thank you very much for taking right, the time you. out of your very busy life. Oh, I'm happy to help. And I think if, if your folks have questions uh, that you'd like to check back with, we'd be happy to provide some answers as well. So. All right, this is Martin for Life Enthusiast. You can call me at 866-543-3388. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you. Thank you.